He was born in New Zealand on August 30th, 1871. Through the scholarship, Ernest attended Canterbury College and Christchurch, and there he formed a science society. Mathematics ability won him a senior scholarship in mathematics. In 1893, Ernest received his master's in electricity and magneticism, and at Manchester, Ernest accepted a teaching position as professor. One of the most important experiments Ernest did was that he found that a narrow beam of alpha particles became fuzzy when they passed through a thin sheet of mica. Through this experiment, Ernest and his lab partners found out that an atom was much more than just empty space and scattered electrons. What is an alpha particle, you may ask? Well, there are positively charged particles consisting of two protons and two neutrons. In an experiment, Ernest found that when particles were shot through a sheet of gold, some were redirected, but most went through unharmed. This is because most of the atom is empty space. He also found that alpha rays can even bounce backwards even from a thin film of gold. The nucleus of an atom is 1,000 times smaller than the atom itself, and he knows this because he created the nuclear model of the atom. Ernest was also the first person to split the atom, as well as the first person to discover the proton. He was credited by being the first person to split the atom in 1917, during a nuclear reaction between nitrogen and alpha particles in one of his experiments. He found out that atoms could be split. Ernest also has his own element named after him. It was Ruthafordium and is the most stable known isotope. Another achievement was that Ernest discovered radon, which is a chemically unreactive gas. Radon is a chemical element with symbol Rn and atomic number 86. It is a radioactive, colorless, odorless, tasteless noble gas, occurring naturally as a decay product of radium. Radon can be found in soil, well water, outdoor air, building materials, and public water supply. From all these accomplishments, Ernest was awarded the Nobel Prize because of his work and was also knighted in 1914.